Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abon. We are back with Football Manager 2021 and Eastern Resurgence 2 with Stalwart Bucharest Season 2. A bit of a change in plan from what we are going to do because there is an interesting development in the Cup, Romanian Cup, the Coupa Romania. We're going to call it the Romanian Cup. We have drawn Dinamo Bucharest. This is a big deal because this is the eternal derby, the biggest derby in Romanian football and I didn't think we were going to get this until we got promoted to the first division but it turns out we've drawn them in the cup so it's only a fifth round tie it's the round of 32 I think so it's not that big a cup game it is because it's a derby but we're only in the last 32 we've got to where we're expected to get to in the cup but the fact that we've drawn Dinamo and this is the biggest derby in the country I feel like I have to play it I mean, strictly speaking, FCSB versus Dinamo is the biggest derby, but we are Stour Bucharest. So, as far as I'm concerned, this is the big derby. So, what we're going to do is we're going to play that today. And because I've only played three matches off camera, we're going to play the following match as well, which is against uh, Universitat. Cluj, I think. Last episode was disappointing. We lost 1 0 at home to Poly Timisoara, our first defeat in the league uh, this season. Had to change around a bit to fit in our youngsters, Yele, so we played a 4 2 4. Didn't really work out. We only had one shot on target, so yeah, not particularly good. Off camera, we played three matches, starting off with a game against the reserve team of Dinamo Bucharest. It was a goalless draw here, pretty tight game. Uh, we had lots of possession, but in terms of shots and chances, sort of very similar, uh, but no goals here. Chance-wise, uh, we were slightly better, I think. Our XG was one, so we could have got a goal, could have got um, three points, but having to settle for just the one against our fellow promotees from uh, Division 3. Then we took on Dacia Unirea Abraila in the Cup in Round 4. Um, we won on penalties, which is how we got to where we are today. It was 2-2 after 90, and in the shootout, we won four goals to do, two penalties saved by Stefan Musha. And, you know, for a team that, you know, has some history in penalty shootouts, that's how they won the European Cup, to get our first shootout out of the way and to get a win is pretty good. So happy with that. But um, against a team that were in Division 3, we could have won this one, maybe should have done, but uh, we did get through uh, via a penalty shootout. And then our third and final game was a draw away from home against Viterol. This was one goal apiece. A pretty quiet game, slightly disappointing. Uh, another point away from home, which isn't too bad. Rusu scored for them. That was on 67 minutes and not long afterwards we got our goal. And it was Pachanel with what I think was his third of the season. But um, yeah, had a great start to the season. We didn't lose in our first six, uh, but then we haven't won in our last three. So, you know, it's been a few draws in there. We had some good wins in the start, but now that we haven't won in three, things are looking a little bit more down to earth for us. We're down to fifth, but still 16 points from nine matches. Not too bad at all. We're not quite averaging two points a game. So things are going okay. And today we've got this cup game. We are probably going to sell out the new stadium here. It's a big derby. So I imagine we're going to get about 30,000 spectators. We're going to sell it out. So yeah, that's good. And then the game after that is against the Universitat de Cluj, who are in seventh place. So double live come today. We'll get through both of them. So Dinamo are Evans favourites for the game. 5-2 to two for us to win. 13-5 for a draw. Going back to the 4-2-3-1 for this one, Mushet's going to stay in goal. Back four of Vidraru, Prasanovic, Wallace and Kalinchoru. Uh, the left back, Vidraru and Rajdan linking up well at the moment, so that's looking good. Um, Kostash and Malayale in midfield, Pashnal ahead of them. Rajdan on the left, Tudor on the right, Isbas playing up front. who's had a good start to the season, um, Yuna Isbas. He's already got, I think, maybe six or seven goals. Um, in fact, he's got... Oh, four. He got a hat trick in one of them, so I thought he might have had more. But yeah, that's the team. We're going to start on balanced. We're going to see how things go. We aren't pressing as much. We'll keep the line standard, but we can drop them if need be. And we'll regroup when we lose possession. That's going to be how we're going to go today. We're underdogs for the game. It's going to be an exciting one. Let's have a look at this stadium then. It's going to be hopefully nice and full here for this derby. Um, but let's see. Into the dressing room we go. The media have given us a lot of credit, so that's good. And here we go, look at this, our stadium looking nice and full for this eternal derby. And it's going to be a big one, off we go. Early free kick here for Dinamo with Garcia. And Eamon's up first and it's an early goal for the away side. Fourth minute, Marco Eamon gets it. I think we might be in for a long one today, but you know, let's see if we can get back into it. First highlight of the game, it's a set piece for Dinamo. Eamon's forward, he's onside and it's a goal, it's a lead for them. Well, apart from that goal, there really hasn't been much to talk about. That was the only highlight of the first half. Let's see if we can do better in the second half. I've got some frustrated and nervous players out there. Uh, I'm going to go for the fans team talk because, 
because this is a big derby. Okay, hasn't changed much. Razdan's looking a bit better at least, but let's try and build up their confidence a bit. Come on. We're just going to try and get shots away. So we're going to try and shoot on sight. Let's turn off get stuck in and let's pr try and press a little bit more. We're not going to stand off too much. Let's go for a fire up because there isn't really a, so a show passion anymore. So fire up's probably the closest you can get to it. There hasn't been a lot happening in this game. The goal has been literally the only thing. And 54 and a half minutes in, it is a throw. Florescu gets the cross away. It's Gray and it's Sorescu and it's 2-0. This was always going to be a tough game. But, you know, it's a derby. I think we have to get this on camera. It's 2-0 Dinamo. It, we haven't really offered too much in this game. I've barely seen this in possession. The highlights have been a set-piece goal for them. There's a flare in the crowd again. A set-piece goal and then an easy goal there. A very, like, a, a, a soft goal for them to, to win to score there. Not been good. I'm going to berate them because I, I expect more than this. This is very poor. Another throw for them here with Gonzalez. And Brasanovic does clear it away. And this might be the chance for us to actually get ourselves in the game here. East pass for the ball. His pass will nail. There's no one really forward, but he's found Saim Tudor, who goes backwards to Kalin Sharu. First time we're really seeing us on possession here. The keeper's come out. I don't know what he's doing. And Aspas has got us back into the game just after the hour. 2-1. Gifted a goal there, um, to be honest. The, goal, the keeper was in the middle of nowhere. But um, good ball by Passionel to find Tudor. He poured it back for Kalin Sharu, and then Kalin Sharu with the ball over the top. Isbas with the volley. The keeper's in no man's land. Okay, more of that, please. Corner kick for Dinamo with Garcia. Headed away by Wallace. Here's Fiorescu. Florescu. Don't bring him down. Oh, he's gone for goal, and it's a save by Musha. I thought it was going to go for the foul then, but he didn't. Another throw in for us here. Kalin Sharu. Here's Tudor. And he's lost out to uh, Borja Vale. Here's Guay. And, oh, I thought... Who's this? Vajrari. I thought he'd get there first. Good header away by Kalin Charu. Tudor clears it further on. Helps it on. Lopez. I think we need to try and maybe counter-attack. Because, you know, we're not having the possession here. We're seeing them on the ball an awful lot. We are going to go a bit more cautious. Go for that counter-attacking. See if we can get a goal from it and equalise. Here's Borja Vale. Florescu to Lopez. Don't let him get the cross away, Florescu. Borja Valle, and it's 3-1. Yeah, I say it's a tough game. I've, I'm pleased we've got a goal, even though it was kind of gifted to us. But, yeah, not looking too good here. I'm going to make some changes just before we get on with the game. Um, Rajdan's not done well today, so we're going to bring on Zaharia in his place. Vajrayu also has had a bad performance. So I think we're going to bring on Ilya, who has not featured yet this season, I don't think. He was a mainstay last season, but Vajrayu has come in and been really, really good. And yeah, Ilya kind of lost his place, but he's going to play today because it's been a bad game on that left-hand side. And that's where it seems like we've had the real issues. All right, we're going to go and attack. We're going to try and do something with this and, and get back into it. But yeah, we're looking at a possible bad defeat here. It's 3-1 against the rivals. We'll try and get back into this. I mean, we've had a goal. It's going to be a tough match, but let's try and get another goal here, shall we? Here's Zaharia to Malayele. And Tudor's got lots of space on this right-hand side. Goes back into Malayele. Here's Kalincharu to Wallace. And good spell of possession. That's a good ball over the top for Tudor. Can he set up East Pass for another? Go on East Pass. It's well blocked. Another set piece for Dinamo here. Coming up on 78 minutes. It's a throw, excuse me. We haven't really cleared it very well. Valet has already got one goal today and goes for another one, but that's wide. Um, we're looking very tired in midfield. We need to bring on someone. Um, let's bring on a Raichu for Kostash. Another free kick for Dinamo. And Mushat gets it away, but not far. Oh, that's disappointing. He, I, I don't know. Could he have caught that? I don't know. He's just palmed it straight into the path of Anton, who's made it four for Dinamo. And this is getting a bit getting a bit embarrassing now. The first game against our rivals, Musha has not cleared that with enough authority. And it's come straight to Anton, who's, who's found the goal. 4-1. And another corner kick here. Let's take it off attacking. Come on, damage limitation, too late. It's 5-1. 5-1, dearie me. This is going to really harm our confidence for the league as well. Uh, the first eternal derby has not gone our way. It was going to be a tough match, but 5-1, no matter who you're against, is not good enough. There we go. Stawa 1, Dinamo 5. Not a good day for us at all. Um, you know, we were underdogs, but I was expecting better than that. 
hopefully we can put that behind us and you know get our full focus on the league now that's the uh, end of our cup run uh we beat Dacha and then we lost in that derby but again for a first derby that was that was that's gonna be the one of the toughest matches we're ever gonna have so yeah it wasn't good it wasn't pretty but hopefully that's the worst one out of the way you know when we get to the top league we're going to be more closer to their level it's going to be more competitive they're in the league above us so it was always going to be tough but i say no matter who you're against 5-1 defeats are never good i think rotation may have played a part in that as well because it was a midweek game so you know it's the first time that we played like three games in um seven days or six days or whatever so yeah that was always going to be an issue as well uh, but now we take on Cluj uh, we are just a couple of points ahead of them it's not CFR Cluj because they are up in the top league it's uh, University of Cluj let's see if we can get a better result here a better performance two of those come out of the team Zahari has come in on the left and Rajdan on the right uh, Malayali is getting tired he's playing a lot of games at the moment so we need to try and look at resting him when we can Espas also getting tired so I think we are going to start Jele today um don't really want to do it but I don't really feel like I have a choice at the moment so we'll do that uh Pashanil's also struggling a little bit so do we give Nichu a rare start maybe we do let's go for it and after not doing well last time Vajrayu is going to come out we're going to give Ilya his first start because um he was good last season and we haven't really played him since so that's what we're going to do today we're not going to go in so hard we're going to, you know, sort of step off a little bit. And let's see if we can better our um, our form today. Put that cup performance behind us and get a win. Because we haven't won in three league games. And hopefully we can get that today. We're going to pump the fists and say, show me what you can do. That has had no effect whatsoever. Point finger. Have faith in everyone. Individual chats. Please save it. Okay. Not too bad. Let's see if we can get a better result today. We're at home again. Of course, the stadium not as full because no one cares about this match. That was a derby before. So we're probably back to about half four, probably about 16, 17,000 maybe. Nietzsche's got the ball here just outside the box. He's Jelle. And he's done go for goal. He's on target at least. Sherry Meta, the goalkeeper, makes the save. I want to see a goal from the youngster. Prove that he can actually, you know, play. And he's not out of his depth. Because Mele Jelle is not going to be able to play every single game. We know that. And if he's going to be an international duty again in the future, I want other youngsters that I can rely on. Maybe in the transfer window, we need to look at maybe bringing in some more proven sort of 18-year-olds, some some slightly better players. Kostas Zusaharia, who's gone for it from the outside the box. We get our 1-0 lead just after 10 minutes. Shiremet, I think, got something to it, but couldn't stop it from going in the goal. We have a 1-0 lead. Rajdan into the middle for Nichu. I thought Kostas was going to have a go, but he laid it off for Saharia. I think Shomet did get a hand to it, but I say it went in the goal. 1-0. Rajdan's got plenty of space on this right-hand side. Lots of time to try and put a cross in here. Maybe for Jele, maybe for someone else. The cross is in there. It was towards the goal. It wasn't a good cross. It, it, was it a shot? I don't think it was a shot. Gavra sends it past Dean Betcher. And Ilya wins the tackle well there. Good tackle. Proven that he does belong in the team still. That's going to be an interesting competition for left back there between him and uh, Vidrariu. If Iliad does well today, he may well keep his place. So that's going to be an interesting season at left back. Bad pass there. Raichu's capitalised. Can he go for goal himself here? He does. And it's a goal. 2 0. 23rd minute. Christian Raichu gets his first, first goal of the season. I think he got three, maybe four last year. He, he came up with some goals. Did our um, electric midfielder because. He's named after a Pokemon. He's not named after a Pokemon. He shares a name with a Pokemon. It's one separate letter. One letter difference. 2-0 though. Um, we're doing much better in this game. This is what I wanted to see. A good response. Half time. We're in good control of the game. Um, more shots than them. More possession than them. We are well on top. Hopefully we can keep that going in the second half. Hold on to this lead. Maybe extend it. Things are going well. I'm going to turn out to slightly more positive style. Seeing as we are dominating the ball, 62% at the moment. Can we get ourselves some more goals here? So throw in four clues right by the corner flag. Goga with the cross and a header. Oh no, it's in. It's 2-1. Stefanescu uh, gets clues back in the game. 2-1. Yeah, I mean, who's this? Ilya didn't really challenge him in the air. So not what we want. Let's encourage them and try and get, you know, get that two goal cushion back. 3-1 make it. Again, tiredness is coming in now. Nietzsche's getting tired. So I think we're going to bring on bring on Pasha now. And Kostas is going to come off. Melele is going to come on. It's double change. 78 minutes. We've got a throw with Kalentaru. Headed away by Novak. Here's Malayele, who's fresh on from the bench. 
Raichu, who got our second goal. Kalinjaru to Pashonel. Finds Zaharia. Here is Raichu. Angela. This could be his first goal when it's in. I think it took a deflection, but Bogdangela, the 18-year-old, gets his first goal for Stauer. And it's uh, it's an important one. 3-1 now. I think that's hopefully going to be game over. But there are just over 10 minutes left of normal time. Still time for um, Clues to maybe get another goal, make it 3-2. Hopefully we can extend it and get four. And really kill it off. It did take a deflection off of the defender, but um Jelle is not going to care. That is going to take that goal to the bank. Okay, Calentaro is getting a bit tired at right back. So we're going to bring on Parfion for the last 10 minutes or so. Just making that defensive fallback. Go back to um, balanced for the last um, couple of minutes or so. Looking like a comfortable 3-1 win here. First half was very good. Cluj did get back in in the second half. But we extended uh, that goal margin back to two. 3-1 home win, much needed response after the heavy defeat against uh, Dinamo. That results put us back on top of the table. Much needed win there. I think we were like fifth before that. So very tight at the top, you know, just two points separating the top six. Hopefully we can stay in this top six and we'll be, you know, 100% clear of relegation and maybe into that promotion playoff group of the top six. We'll have to wait and see though. It's going to be tough to keep it up all season, but yeah, 19 points, pretty good. So looking at what we have coming up then, we've got um, six games before our winter break. So I think you know it's pretty simple what we're going to do. We're going to play five off camera. Next episode, we're going to take on Miaveni. And then that will be the last game before our you know extended winter break. Uh, two months and then we come back for February and then we'll have some transfers. That seems pretty, um, pretty simple, really. So I think that's what we're going to do. So it turns out we only have nine games left. So we've got six before the winter break. We've got three after the winter break. And then after that, we'll find out if we're going to be in that promotion group or if we're going to be in the other 16 teams in the uh, relegation group. 14 teams, not 16. I can't even do maths. Simple maths. Anyway, um, I guess we'll I guess we'll discover what's going to happen with the split, you know, when we get to March. Uh, but next time, we're going to play Miaveni, our last game before our winter break. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below. Leave comments. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, do subscribe. Turn on notifications. And yeah, next time, me of any. Final game before our winter break. After that, uh, there may well be some transfers. And then the final three games before the split. But things are going very well so far. We're top of the table after 10 matches. Not by much, though. It's very tight. But hopefully we can stay in that top six uh, and get into that um, promotion group for the second half of the season. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.